Lady Margareta Peters, an Irish-born serial killer, stands as a chilling reminder of the potential for evil to lurk within the most seemingly ordinary individuals. Her crimes, committed in late 19th century New York City, sent shockwaves through the nation and marked her as one of the earliest recorded female serial killers in American history. This documentary delves into the life and crimes of Lady Margareta Peters, exploring her Irish origins, her career as a nurse, the methods she employed to poison her victims, and the events that led to her eventual capture and conviction. Born in Ireland in the mid-19th century, Margareta Peters' early life remains shrouded in mystery. Little is known about her family background, upbringing, or the reasons that prompted her to emigrate to the United States. However, it is clear that she arrived in New York City during a time of significant immigration and social upheaval. The city was a melting pot of cultures, offering opportunities for upward mobility but also presenting challenges for those seeking to establish themselves. Upon arriving in New York, Peters pursued a career in nursing. Her choice of profession was perhaps surprising, given the often demanding and physically taxing nature of the work. However, nursing offered a degree of stability and social respectability, making it an attractive option for many women at the time. Peters quickly established herself as a competent and compassionate nurse, gaining the trust of patients and their families. Beneath her seemingly caring exterior, however, Peters harbored a dark secret. She was a skilled poisoner, using her knowledge of medical treatments and her access to patients to carry out her deadly plans. Her victims were often elderly or infirm individuals under her care, making it easier for her to administer the poison without arousing suspicion. Peters' motives were primarily financial, as she sought to profit from the life insurance policies of her victims. Peter's poisoning spree began in the late 1800s and continued for several years. She carefully selected her targets, choosing individuals who were likely to die under suspicious circumstances without arousing undue attention. She then administered small doses of arsenic, a highly toxic substance that could be easily concealed in food or drink. Over time, the victim's health deteriorated, and they eventually died. As the number of unexplained deaths in the area increased, authorities began to suspect that something sinister was afoot. However, it was difficult to connect the dots and identify a common link between the victims. Peter's careful planning and the subtlety of her actions made it challenging to prove that she was responsible for the deaths. Eventually, a pattern began to emerge. Many of the victims were elderly or infirm patients who had been under the care of a nurse named Margareta Peters. This information led to an investigation, and authorities began to scrutinize Peters' activities more closely. As the investigation progressed, evidence began to mount against Peters. Witnesses reported seeing her with the victims shortly before their deaths. Additionally, medical examiners found traces of arsenic in the bodies of several of the victims. Faced with overwhelming evidence, Peters was arrested and charged with murder. Her trial was a media sensation, capturing the public's attention and sparking widespread outrage. Peters maintained her innocence throughout the proceedings, claiming that the deaths were accidental or due to natural causes. Despite her defense, Peters was found guilty of murder and sentenced to life in prison. Her conviction marked a significant turning point in the history of American criminal justice, as it demonstrated that even women could be capable of committing heinous crimes. The story of Lady Margareta Peters serves as a stark reminder of the potential for evil to lurk within seemingly ordinary individuals. Her case also highlights the importance of careful scrutiny and investigation when faced with unexplained deaths. While Peter's crimes may have been forgotten by many, 
her legacy as one of America's earliest female serial killers endures. Lady Margareta Peters, an Irish-born serial killer who operated in New York City during the late 19th century, left a lasting impact on the American criminal justice system. Her case, while less well-known today than those of more recent serial killers, played a crucial role in shaping the way that law enforcement agencies and the public view female criminals. Peter's crimes were particularly significant because she was one of the earliest recorded female serial killers in American history. At a time when women were generally seen as passive and incapable of violence, her actions challenged traditional gender roles and forced society to confront the darker side of female criminality. The investigation into Peter's crimes highlighted the need for law enforcement agencies to be more vigilant in their investigations of suspicious deaths. Prior to Peter's case, it was often assumed that women were not capable of committing such heinous acts. As a result, authorities may have been less likely to consider female suspects in their investigations. Peter's case forced law enforcement to recognize that women could be just as dangerous as men, and that they should not be dismissed as potential suspects based solely on their gender. This shift in thinking led to a more comprehensive approach to criminal investigations, one that took into account the possibility of female perpetrators. The media played a significant role in shaping public perception of Peters and her crimes. Newspapers and other media outlets sensationalized the case, portraying Peters as a monstrous figure who had betrayed the trust of her patients. This portrayal helped to solidify the image of Peters as a villain, and it also contributed to the public's fear of female criminals. However, the media's coverage of Peters' case also had a positive impact. By drawing attention to her crimes, the media helped to raise awareness of the issue of female criminality and to put pressure on law enforcement to take action. The legacy of Lady Margareta Peters is complex and multifaceted. On the one hand, her case served as a cautionary tale about the dangers of trusting strangers, particularly those who are entrusted with our care. On the other hand, her case also played a crucial role in shaping the American criminal justice system. By demonstrating that women could be just as dangerous as men, Peter's case forced law enforcement to rethink their approach to criminal investigations. It also helped to raise public awareness of the issue of female criminality and to put pressure on authorities to take action. While Peter's crimes may have been forgotten by many, her legacy endures. She remains a cautionary tale about the potential for evil to lurk within the most seemingly ordinary individuals. She also serves as a reminder of the importance of vigilance and the need to take all potential suspects seriously, regardless of their gender. While Lady Margareta Peters' crimes occurred over a century ago, her case remains relevant in the modern world. Her story offers important insights into the nature of human evil, the challenges of criminal justice, and the enduring power of the media. Firstly, Peter's case serves as a stark reminder of the potential for evil to lurk within seemingly ordinary individuals. Even those entrusted with the care of others can be capable of heinous acts. This lesson remains relevant today, as we continue to grapple with the occasional revelations of individuals who have committed horrific crimes. Secondly, Peter's case highlights the challenges of criminal justice. Despite the evidence against her, it took authorities some time to identify her as the perpetrator. This case underscores the importance of thorough investigations and the need for law enforcement to be vigilant in their pursuit of justice. Finally, the media's role in shaping public perception of Peter's and her crimes remains relevant today. The way in which the media portrays criminals can have a significant impact on public opinion and the course of justice. It is essential for the media to approach such cases with sensitivity and to avoid sensationalism that can distort the facts. Lady Margareta Peters' case offers valuable lessons for the modern world. It serves as a reminder of the potential for evil, the challenges of criminal justice, and the power of the media.
By understanding the significance of Peter's case, we can better appreciate the complexities of human nature and the importance of upholding justice. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this exploration of Lady Margareta Peter's dark tale. Her story serves as a chilling reminder of the potential for evil to lurk within seemingly ordinary individuals. If you want to hear more fascinating stories from Ireland's rich history, myths, and legends, be sure to subscribe to Emerald Chronicle. We have plenty of captivating content waiting for you. So hit that subscribe button and join us on our journey through Ireland's past.